Saturday morning and um, do you know what? I'm just <clears throat> sort of recovering today from a mega week. Now, I live outside London and I travel in every day for the last 15 years. My journey is roughly 130 miles a day there and back to the office in Fulham. Now, for me to beat the traffic, I usually, in the beginning when I first, <clears throat> when I first was uh, commuting to London, we used, always used to leave early. You know, I used to get picked up or I used to drive around six o'clock in the morning, getting into Fulham, by about sort of 20 past seven-ish. But as the years went by and uh, the business got established, I got a bit lazy, you know, and um, I, I, did the, I did the early starts for a while. And then uh, for the last sort of couple of years, I've been sort of leaving at 9 a.m. to beat the traffic. So after all the traffic's died down, you know, I jump in the car, put a uh, podcast on or something and literally just cruise up, miss all the traffic, get to the office by 10 o'clock. That's okay, but obviously you're not using as much time in the day as you could do. Uh, even though I was getting to the office at 10 o'clock and I wasn't leaving till maybe seven, eight o'clock at night and then getting home by nine, you know, I just needed to create more hours in the day because at the moment days weeks months years are flying by and i need to get back into working longer hours so this week i've been um hitting the 5 a.m rule now it's been tough alarms going off at five o'clock literally i lay there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, slowly waking up, get out of bed, have a cup of tea. I've got a gym downstairs uh, in the garage, um, maybe 10, 15 minutes in the gym, <clears throat> Not nothing major, just working the arms, chest, legs, done. Uh, getting in the car by quarter to six and uh, heading off into the office, uh, which takes at that time of morning, about an hour and 10 minutes. So, but do you know what? This week, since I've been doing that, so I've been getting the office uh, just after seven and I've been staying there till sort of seven, eight o'clock. So I'm doing 13 hours a day at least in the office at, at work or on site view meetings, so and so forth. But the difference it has made in my productivity is unbelievable. You know, by the time I get to the office at sort of seven, seven, eight, nine, I've done so much before any of the staff turn up. And when 12 o'clock comes midday, it seems like, you know, obviously I've already done almost six, six hours almost. And um, you've got, that's half day. And then you've got from sort of midday till six, seven, eight to go again. So it has been tough. And to be fair this morning, I usually have my personal trainer every Saturday morning. But today I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cancel him and have a little lay in. Uh, because, yeah, it's been tough. 14, 15 hours a day. Last night, I didn't get in till 1am because after work, I went over to East London and I met one of my buddies, Gordon, who is the brand ambassador for the Devonshire Club um, in Devonshire Square, which was an amazing club. Uh, Gary Rhodes, the famous chef, he was in there last night. Uh, there was a private party. I had a nice VIP tour and a lovely club. Uh, when I walked in, I was offered 
to test uh, some caviar. Now I'm not really into caviar. There's Binky. No, it's Bink down there. Look. Not really into caviar, but I get, gave it a go. Um, yeah, so that was a long day yesterday. But you know what? It makes you feel like you're actually achieving something and you're winning. The, my pipeline has never, ever been so full up in the last 10 years. It's literally, we have been 10xing lead generation for the last six weeks. We're getting five or six leads a day. That's construction projects. People asking us to build their loft conversions, side returns, pod rooms, new builds, basements, refurbs, interior design. That's hitting every single platform. Facebook personal, Facebook business, Instagram. I would say personal, but Instagram still taking my pissing Instagram page down. I've got my Instagram business, which has got 10,000 now. LinkedIn, I've got 12,000. Um, Twitter, personal, I've got about 8,000. Business, 12,000. Um, Snapchat, even tick bloody talk. I'm on everything, you know, and um, Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising. We're getting maybe one or, one or two a day off of that. So it's working, you know, and my goal is, is to smother my competition with content. So if anyone is out there in West London, Chelsea, Fulham, Belgravia, Knightsbridge, Mayfair, Holland Park. You know, if anyone's looking for a builder, we want to be on their top three listicle. So, because everyone, everyone's going to want a, a two or three other contractors to do a price comparison. And then it's up to me to absolutely, you know, show them how much we care, how much we want to win the job. Because at the moment, I'm so focused. I listen to hours upon hours and hours of um, audiobooks teaching me new methods of sales, of closing, branding, marketing, PR, everything. I'm just, I've, I hated school. I never learned a thing at school. I'm learning more now at 49 years old than I've ever learned in my life. You know, I keep telling my daughter, you know, but you know, kids just don't listen. She's a bit like me. If she could only take a little bit what I'm saying to her and take it on board, she'd be minted. She's coming up 16. And all, she's, all she wants to do is, you know, mess around with her friends on Insta and Snap and that kind of stuff, but she could only focus and use these social media platforms to build a following to make some money off the back of it. Sell, you can sell anything. Sell t-shirts, sell sweatshirts, sell baseball caps, sell bloody anything, buy, trade, sell. It's easy. I just don't have enough time in the day to do it. I need people, good people around me who want to feed off my energy to grow and expand because it's impossible to do it on your own. And I, you know, my team around me is very, very good. And I hope their careers, whatever they choose, is, is amazing. You know, hopefully they set up on their own, they become entrepreneurs of the future, and they make loads of money and live happily ever after. <clears throat> yeah, so today, I am just going to be chilling out in the garden. I may go see my mum. I see her once a week. She's getting old. Let's go and say hello. She likes seeing her boy. She, I go round there. She make me a cup of tea. If I'm hungry, she make me a bacon sandwich. <clears throat> but yeah. The moral of the story is put the hours in. 
work harder than your competition in every aspect. Lead generation, branding, closing, meeting people, networking, cold calling, flyers, letters, every single thing. And let, and let everyone chase your tails. Set the benchmark high. Boom. Right, this is me signing off. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe because I need some followers on YouTube, because I'm an old fart. And uh, I'll catch up with you all later on. Ciao, for now.